What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the video and it's been a long time since I've been able to get some consistent training and if I'm being honest it's kind of the reason why you guys haven't had a recent running vlog or video and things like that in the past few weeks just because after the marathon had a good probably two weeks of training coming off still running pretty consistently some good longer runs but the past two weeks been dealing with a few injuries that really kind of fucked me up mentally and physically all right decided to refilm that clip just because it was a lot of mic issues for some reason and it was going to be annoying to listen to for you and for me editing it so basically been dealing with two issues the first one i injured it was like a quad strain but the way i heard it wasn't running it was like i went to sit down with dumbbells to do a shoulder press like I always do and for some reason setting the dumbbell on my quad I felt it tighten up and it basically limited me when I ran when I extended my hip and quad back I felt it like tighten so I didn't want to push it too hard but I was running through that a little bit it got better on a Thursday long run and then literally that evening I developed some nerve issues and the nerve issues was something I've dealt with months ago if you go back on my YouTube around June time frame I dealt with IT band syndrome in my right leg, which basically just shows, I'll throw up on the screen, this kind of section along my knee, I feel like a sharp nerve pain when I either, it's kind of like random, like either when I'm walking or definitely when I'm running, the likeliness that I take a wrong step and it hurts. It's kind of random, but obviously running makes it happen more often. So I you know, went through a couple days, uh, including these clips coming up that I did three mile runs on the treadmill to try and just kind of like work through the nagging injury. But yeah, here's those clips. I'll talk about it in a little bit after these. But anyway, that's what I've been dealing with two just frustrating injuries. And uh, here's a couple drills I've been doing to try and work through it, strengthen up the area that's probably causing the IT band problem. at 3.18 miles I didn't go to the point where it hurt and I triggered the nerve but I started to feel a little bit of a tingle around 3.1 and so I was like is it worth it to push to four or just cut it here so I'm gonna cut it here and hope that another night of sleep and then going tomorrow morning will serve me so that stopping a little bit earlier will be worth it in the long run tomorrow I can go for six to eight miles so we'll see if that's actually worth it because I did feel a little bit of that same tingle earlier in the run and then just kept going and it didn't like, you know, trigger. So we'll see. But either way, going to do some stretching here again. Probably will do some of those same drills I just did um, a few moments ago and then head home, shower up and then get back here, work the rest of the day. So that's the plan. I'll catch up with you all tomorrow morning and we'll keep trying this again. Amazing, but they're powerful in, in their own. How did that moment shape your life after that? All right, it might not seem like it, but it is a different day. It's Thursday morning, so the next day. Funny thing about my nerve injury. So I told you guys I stopped a little bit early yesterday, got the three miles in, and stretched a little bit, headed home. Got home, went and took my dog out. He peed. As soon as I turn and take a step back towards our apartment, huge knee pain sharp spike a yelp and then basically the rest of the day i'm just walking very carefully so technically i only had one bad step all day yesterday even including the running steps but i'm still super nervous like even this morning i was walking really gingerly and very careful as if like one step's gonna just obliterate my knee but uh i'm just trying to save all of my activity and steps for when I'm on that treadmill when it really matters to me. So anyway, we're sipping some coffee, we're watching, and this is what I plan on watching on the treadmill, an interview with Sally McRae, very renowned, popular uh, ultra runner, but she's on Nick Bear's podcast. So I figured I'd give it a listen because you can't listen to experienced runners enough. So I'm gonna listen to her while I run on the treadmill. But anyway, the goal today, I believe I mentioned it earlier in the video, is six miles. If I feel amazing, Maybe I'll push for eight, 
really depends. Uh, but the minimum I'm hoping to get is three or four miles. That's kind of like my minimum every day, just enough to still feel like I'm doing something and not losing my fitness, but obviously not where I want to be, but enough to where I'm not. I don't want to run till I hurt. I'd like to cut it back a few like steps, a mile or two before it, the pain would come on. So that way it can actually heal a little bit while I'm still active, if that makes sense. So that's the plan, it's enough of me talking. I'm gonna do the same warm up I did earlier in this video for that run, and we're gonna see how it goes. Kinda went fine, kinda didn't. So I did three miles, but all during that last third mile, I was feeling uh, not the direct sharp pain in my nerve, along the outside of my knee that I've been feeling, but it was like coming on and I was like, any second now, it could just get pissed off. So I was like, let me finish it on my terms. Called it at three, obviously, like I said, I wanted six or four, I've been super happy with, but I'm gonna play it safe. And the realization I made was, I'm just gonna have to take a week off. Just, I I'm gonna be in a perpetual state of barely running at all, but not giving it time to heal. And I'm so hard-headed with this stuff, and sometimes it doesn't matter and I can push through, but I think it's just going to be best with my race coming up in March. Just take a full week off today, so I won't run again until next Thursday. Just take that full week off, let it recover as much as possible. I'm still going to train legs because weight training doesn't really seem to bother it, but I'm going to try and make sure I'm doing pretty stationary leg movements. So, for example, squat or deadlift where I'm not dynamically moving like I would for a lunge. And we're just going to try and let this thing heal. It's the first time I've really like given in to an injury, if that makes sense. But I think it's going to be worth it. I think it's the smart move. I'm just being hard-headed. But uh, anyway, it's a short video, but I wanted to give you guys an update as far as like where the running video is at. And, you know, if you follow me on Strava, where, where, why the run's so short and what's up with that. So that's what I'm dealing with. It's real life. I'm sure a lot of you guys have dealt with injuries as well. And uh, as much as I want to be a hard ass and, like I said, hard headed, uh, sometimes they still get the best of you. So I'm going to try and be smart here, take time off, like I said. I might get in uh, some lifting footage uh, for you guys in the meantime before I start running again. And I uh, wish me a speedy recovery. Anyway, that's the video. Subscribe for more content. I promise I will be back and we're going to work towards this 50K, and that's going to be a fun adventure. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.